uh, great blue heron out there trying to find him something to eat. Water's pretty low this time of year, so it's probably about a uh, I think their legs are probably about two foot, foot and a half, two foot. He seems to be walking on the bottom all right. So, he's, uh, while I was watching him, he, uh, stuck his head down in the water for a couple times. So, so evidently there's something out there that's, Keeping him uh, fed, or uh, shall I say, having a good hunting. I don't think he would uh, hang around there if there wasn't nothing to eat. But he's standing up on something now. He's almost—he's completely out of the water. Oh no, it's just a shadow. Kind of hard to tell looking through the camera. Maybe zoom in there. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah, he's uh, his legs are completely underwater. Oops. Sorry about that. But kind of hold the cam, hold the uh, camera steady. Under my chest here, it's killing my back. There we go. There we go. Looks like he's resting his head <laughs> in that branch. Why? In the crotch of that branch. There you go, there's a good shot of him. Had a couple kayakers out there earlier. But, uh, so, gotta go check my dinner. Got a, uh, White egret party out there today. The water is really low. It's almost all gone out of the lagoon, which is the result of what the Oak Harbor Conservation Club did when they built that dike cutting off the flow of the water to my property. I have several times tried to get the Army Corps of Engineers to give me an explanation on as to why they allowed them to do that and the federal government even gave them a grant to build that dike that completely, not completely, as you can see, there's a little bit of water out there, but that water should be three foot high out there. I'm inside, it's hard to, I don't know if I step outside, hold on, okay, now I'm outside, a little better view of how many there are, let's see, got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
11, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We've got 16 white egrets. I can reach out and grab them by the neck and threaten them. But, you know, that's the state of fallen man. Don't have harmony with the animals until the Lord returns. It'll be a glorious day when he does. water is the fact that I get to all these birds out here looking for the fish and the frogs and the turtles and trawdads and everything else they eat. Just thought I'd show you that. Second or third time I played since Memorial Day. 